Okay, guys, I'm trying to calm down after my anger episode. Man, I've had a busy day. Tired after doing all the things with the dogs. Uh-oh, sorry. I need to make sure you can hear me, so hold on. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I would... My blood pressure comes down. Okay, guys, this is your daily summary. And to David Kramer again, you call me a liar. You never emailed me. I can't get a hold of you. Lord Jesus, you know I forgive all my enemies. I give them to you, and I ask that you bless him. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just tired. My back hurts. I am just exhausted from everything I did yesterday, posting a new membership video today. Here's your summary. Thank you, Secret Agent Man and Sam, who for helping me and support me because you guys need to pray for me. I'm being attacked on all sides. I'm just, I'm just done with people accusing me of things I do not do. I have the highest amount of ethics and integrity of anybody on this flipping platform. Anyways, so Secret Agent Man was the outcome will be printed for a release on a later date. They always do this. They publish the meetings. Then the results come later. So he, there was a meeting of the SJC president meets with the UNDP. I took notes. That's the United Nations um, Development Program. Guys, the leaders of Iraq are meeting with the UNJ, the United Nations Development Program. Guys, they have to make sure their I's are dotted and T's are crossed before they can revalue their currency. Because the United Nations, World Economic Forum, all those people are in control of the central banks. So that's something they got to do. The other article he gave me, um, I got to translate. Forgive me for my anger, guys, but, you know, Jesus said, be angry and do not sin. I didn't sin. I forgave him. Mazul hosts the first college of cybersecurity and artificial intelligence in Iraq. They are getting up to speed, guys, and it's exciting that they're doing that for their, for their, for their young population. Half of their population is young and growing. Unlike us, half of our population is probably in diapers, kind of like our administration. Um, Let's see, more headlines to look at. One of the articles involves our group. See if you can find it, LOL. He gave me a, they are, they are supporting everybody over there. They are part of the security forces. I don't have time to do that, but I love you guys, so apologize. He said not much coming out, so he op uploaded what was available. So we're going to go over to, he also says, we have been told the dinar may not go until it has established itself over in Iraq. So guys, I said this before, if it happens in Iraq first to see what happens in Iraq, they have every right to do that before they release it internationally. So that may in fact ha what they're doing right now. I've heard it from several people who've emailed me. They have, they have people they know in Iraq, regular citizens, who are saying they're not using any U.S. dollars on the streets. They're only using dinars. So guys, that's the condition of them using their dinars and putting all their money into the banks is that they would allow them, you know, they're following what their leader is telling them to do. And I suggest we do that as well. Um, in other words, stay calm, be a good citizen until justice is returned, right? And that's what the, the Iraqi citizens are doing right now. They're playing by the rules. We should too. I always say on my platform, be a good citizen. Don't give them, don't give anybody any reason to come after you. Don't create problems uh, because you just need to obey any, any laws. Um, Militia Man, article, government signal, high export capacity boosts currency value, and it's an education piece. Why is the country of Iraq and the financial advisors talking? Because the fact things are changing. They want to make the people aware that things are happening. I believe, give, get, I believe this gives reassurances to why they're doing what they're doing. If you're going to have a value change, people need to have a little bit of a warning. I agree, Militia Man. Claire, government advisor, increased export capacity, boost currency. Quote, the financial advisor to the prime minister, Dr. Mazi Mahmoud Sali, stated that the global currency rates are determined in two main ways, floating and fixed prices, indicating that there are many local and international factors that control the strength of the currency, such as supply, demand, interest rates, inflation, growth in the local trade balance. And other. I did cover that before. He mentioned that to me. It's okay. I don't need credit. Uh, Frank 26, Firefly, we have another guy on TV talking about the WTO ascension. He is saying the plan for Iraq, uh, for Iraq to release a fully convertible cur currency is in October of this year. The World Trade Organization guy needs to shut his mouth. You know very well what Sudani has promised you, and you know very well it's coming. It's not the World Trade Organization's prerogative to tell the world this information. I agree. Um, they're desperate to get Iraq into the World Trade Organization so that they can make money off of them. This guy is trying to spill the beans for his advantage. All I know is that it is happening. I know that the Holy Spirit told me it's already done. So what do you think? Comment down below if you're of the camp that you believe the Holy Spirit and that it's done. 
And I had to change out my earrings because my earlobes were hurting. I don't know if that's part of being 58, almost 59, but my earlobes are very sensitive these days. Oh, I don't know. Is that is that an ascension symptom? <laughs> I don't know. Comment down below. <laughs> I don't know. Mark Z, uh, question, what are the higher rates that you're hearing of, Mark? Mark said, I can't tell you. But they are supposedly higher than was previously sharing. He was warned to stop sharing rates. Guys, everybody's on lockdown. Everybody's on, well, no, Lord, Jesus, I bring those words back. I don't want to be on lockdown. But if we have to be to make things right, I'm willing, right? I'm going to follow all the rules, right? Even if it means the military marching in the streets, what say you? Comment down below. We're going to be good citizens and follow whatever they say, right? Right. That's how you stay out of trouble. You don't want to get in trouble when, you know... There's consequences to trouble, okay? So, there's trouble in River City, right? Just just be good. <laughs> Hope you could appreciate my... Thank you, Lord, for making me laugh. I forgave my enemy. He's an enemy of mine right now. And if he doesn't want the strategies, fine. Don't pay me then and then tell them I'm lying and I stole from you. I mean, within a day. It's like, it's insane. That's how crazy people are. I'm, I'm inclined to just give them a refund right now because I can do it and just say, go away. I wish I never knew you. And then I can delete those videos and just whatever. I'll tell my moderators to block him too. I just don't know what his online name is. Um, you suck, dude. You suck. I'm, I'm, all this is free. I'm just saying. Um, all Frank 26, all this time, we've been waiting for the new exchange rate to come out. We've been waiting since the beginning of the year. Nothing. What's going on? It's scheduled. We have the budget. It's ready to go. What's going on? The problem is the itinerary. Those that steal the bad politics and government of the Iraqi steal the money through the CBI auctions have been tamed. The U.S. Treasury is making all the decisions now. Pimpy, we know pretty soon Iraq is going to be here and talking to people in Washington about what they need to do to get back into the good graces, have the sanctions lifted on some of the banks. And allowing Iraq to move forward with reform without looking for ex excuses to penalize them every time Iraq does something that pisses off the Biden administration. Uh, mil uh, militia man, the Central Bank of Iraq, has been on top of it. They've been working in conjunction with the U.S. Treasury. Guys, that's all good news because most likely those U.S. Treasury folks are associated with independent auditors. Like when Ernst & Young was there and opined on their, their up-to-date electronic payment systems and their whole financial systems running the government entity. Guys, that's a very important piece. Don't ever forget that. The auditors already opined on their financial systems, which is in accordance with all the laws and rules, which lines up with the United Nations, the World Economic Forum, their, all their laws and rules. All the laws are in, in place. The quantum financial system, in my humble opinion, is already in place. And so they're ready to go. It's just a matter of the timing. Now, I seek God for his timing all the time. He told me it's done. So we just have to wait and see and trust that God's timing is perfect. Um, and for those of you who got my strategies, please comment down below that I was in fact integrous with you. Please have my back because I, I, am, I am just tired, right? And when you're tired, everybody's human. I'm human. I get mad. I get angry. And I lash out at the people that deserve it these days. I'm so tired of people taking advantage of me and me being nice and, oh, I'm so sweet. Just, 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 just say whatever you want about me and I'll just let it slide. Not anymore. Not anymore. I'm just saying. You can't say what... You, yeah, you can't accuse me of things and not have me call you out, dude. Um, here's Jeff. The Supreme Judicial Council has decided it's time for the current central bank governor to retire. Remember, this is his second term. During his first term back in the year of 2018, that's when he printed the new lower, smaller, category denomination notes. He's of the opinion that, that what they're doing is unlawful and it has to be, that things have to happen. No retirement date has been provided. Um, I appreciate Jeff and his take on it because he provides a different take than anybody else I know. So he's, he's great. Um, so, guys, that's it for today. Uh, just, if you think about it, pray for me. I know that everybody's got it tough. I'm just, I don't know. I mean, I just, I'm tired of being accused of things when I do my best. I've absolutely done my best. I, I can't give you guys anything more than I've given. So keep me in prayer. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to seek God. Because I'm just like, what is this worth it if I just keep getting accused? And I'm, I mean, I'm talking, just pray for me. We all have weak moments. I'm having one right now. I love you all. Peace be unto you. Peace be unto everybody, and I'm praying for everybody.
that isn't my enemy. Amen. God bless.